Welcome to Barclay Builds. Stick around to the end because I'll tell you what gets overlooked the most so you don't make this common mistake. Let's dig into it. I'm Ben and I'm going to explain how deep you need to dig for a typical extension. I've got two decades of experience building houses, I now work as a building inspector and I'm passionate about helping you understand construction and getting stuck into DIY. How deep does your foundation need to be? Every foundation has different variables so it's not always a straightforward answer. For the majority of domestic extensions, it's acceptable to use a trench foundation. When you start digging your trench, you'll find two types of soil. You'll either have a cohesive soil, a soil that shrinks or expands due to moisture content such as clay, or you'll have a non-cohesive soil, a soil that doesn't shrink such as sand or rock. If you're in the UK, you can easily find out what soil to expect by checking out the British geological map which I've linked in the description below. Clay soil changes in volume due to water content. If you're digging into clay, you'll need to dig to a minimum of one meter deep from ground level or until you reach good ground. A meter deep is a standard depth and is typical on most domestic extensions. In soils that don't shrink like sand and ballast, the depth you dig can be shallower at 750 mil if approved by your building inspector. So what should your trench look like? You should have a clean trench with square edges and a width between 600 and 750 mil wide respectively depending on if you're building a single storey or a double storey extension. If you have a drain that crosses your foundation you'll need to dig down to the invert level. The invert level means the bottom of the pipe. You'll then need to shutter and lintel over the pipe to ensure no pressure is put on the pipe itself. You may also need to obtain a build over agreement if your pipe belongs to your local water authority. If your foundations deviate from the norm or aren't standard, it's wise to consult a structural engineer to design the foundations. In my time inspecting sites, the main thing people overlook when digging foundations are trees. Bear in mind that if you have a tree within 25 meters of your foundation, you should identify it and speak with your building inspector before breaking ground. This will save you time and money. Now you know how deep to dig, check out this video where I explain how far trees should be from your foundation. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below.